My name is Duncan Beavers. Peter. My name is Jacob Perry. Daniel. Jeremy Scher. I'm working on an HTML5 uh, canvas-based two-dimensional maze game um, using EaselJS and Box2D Web. I uh, originally wrote it for the GitHub Game Off 2012 and I'm porting it for Tizen at this event. I am working on an expense tracking app. Um, something very simple, very easy to handle and kind of pretty looking. I'm working on um, a web app that I've been working on for a long time um, and converting it to being uh, a Tizen phone app. Uh, I'm working on um, the in-vehicle infotainment system with Tizen 3. I'm uh, working on uh, an implementation of the TriMet um, transit tracker uh, for Tizen um, so that you can use your um, phone, um, your phone's current location, or give it a stop ID and figure out when the next bus or train is arriving. I was able to successfully get the application deployed on here, mm -hmm. navigate through two separate screens, both of them canvas based, um, and then control the player avatar mm -hmm. through the maze and complete everything. Um, I also have like a menu button and back button integration so that you can back out of the gameplay mm -hmm. back to the main menu of the screen. Okay. It's a web app. Um, It'll be using all the native uh, UI forms mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's, it's designed around fetching everything from the web and now everything's files and so, except for some web service stuff. So I'm having to change a bunch of little things around. This is 3.0 running on Intel uh, Core i5-2500 and uh, with Intel HD graphics. And um, basically the idea is to get some of these um, ties in apps that are running on the phone to run on the um, on the, the screen here. It's one of the one of the few apps I use on my own phone uh -huh. every day, so I'm trying to get that same functionality onto a new platform. Great. And you're doing a web app, right? I'm doing a web app. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going pretty well. Um, spent the first day um, getting the build process dialed in so that it was packaged up in a way that the IDE could mm -hmm. consume it. Um, and then as soon as we got the phones today, I was able to deploy it to the phone and get it running with decent performance. Um, now I've identified what some of the new events that I need to listen to, to to make a more responsive interface. So that's what I'm focusing on changing mm -hmm. now. So here's the daily allowance. This is like what you can spend each day based on um, how many expenses you have to pay and how many you have goals you have to pay. Pretty simple. Keeps a good eye on when the payday is going to happen. Uh, one of the other things we're working on this week is uh, getting this uh, HD radio, which is a USB radio. And um, what it does is it actually works. And we're moving this from we're moving this from uh, a C plus plus .NET version over to uh, Node.js, which actually has been partially converted already, and uh, we're finishing that up and creating an HTML5 uh, interface so that you can um, use HTML5 to basically connect through a hybrid app with uh, Tyson. But it's supposed to be um, a list of videos, and then when you click on one, then it plays that video, and you can add a new video um, by pasting in a URL. Um, there's going to be a search box so you can just like add videos by searching for them and dragging them into the playlist. So um, once you're in there, you can get your current location. It pulls up um, stops that are within 250 feet of you. Mm -hmm. um, one of the next things I'm going to add is um, a settings panel so that you can say, well, actually, I want things that are 500 feet away or a mile away if you want. Um, and then also an option to search by ID. Um, if you go here, I'm just on. Uh, it's but it's not in the UI yet. Um, it takes you to a screen showing the next two arrivals. Um, so you can say there's this bus in two minutes, and there's this bus in 15 minutes. Uh, it's been been a pretty positive process so far. But things are coming quickly, so. Okay. Yeah. So pretty straightforward. I'm trying to keep it simple, yeah. um, given the constraints of this. But that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.